so today I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, text how you can write a text uh, in, in polygon uh, and how you can how you can define the design rule for that text so what you have to for that what you have to do you have to go to the place and here you have to choose the string so after choosing the string let me place it here and let me go to the VIP configuration where I will reduce the transparency of the polygon so that we can see that so let's uh, say make it 50 50 percent so we can see the string so this is the string so let's say this is top side and then in the property that here you can see that um, <coughs> Text height is 1.5254 and uh, width is 0.254 millimeter. So uh, font type here you have to choose true type and bold. So let me report the polygon and as soon as I report, so that's how it looks like. So here you can see that, uh, for example, if I will go to the 3D mode then that's how it looks like and which doesn't look good uh, we have to merge this, this string in the polygon so it looks better so first thing that what you have to do you have to select here inverted so once you select the inverted then here you can see that that's how it, it looks like uh, now what we have to do we have to remove this uh, distance between this string and the, the polygon we have to merge this polygon here in, in the same string and let me copy this and also write here one more string let's call this uh, shift it to the bottom side and call it bot which is bottom and now so let me report the polygon so that's how it looks like okay so now we have to define the rule for this text in uh, for the polygon so for that what you have to do you have to go to the design rules and in rules when you will go then here in in, in this clearance add new rule and here when you will add the new rule and let's call this rule as a clearance label polygon this rule should be between the uh, here where the first object matches here you have to define the custom query and where the second object matches there also you have to define the customer uh, custom queries so custom queries are basically a logical operations so for that what you have to do here here you have to is text and then here we have to write there is text and here you have to write in in polygon and then after later on you have to select all this so here at the moment you can see that the distance between the uh, all the distance what what is defa default is 0.3 millimeter so let me go back to the uh, layout and measure here so here you can see that it's 0.3 millimeter yeah and that we have to remove so again design rules what do you have to do you have to change all this parameter for that what you can do left click on this uh, all the values and then uh, select the values which we have to change here in this case we have to change all these values once it is selected then what you have to do you have to just write minus point zero 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 one so here as you can see that it has changed all those values and then one more important thing you have to keep in mind make sure that all your rules are having a higher priority than the clearance default this clearance rule yeah so what you have to do then apply click on apply okay and when i will come here and then report my polygon then i'm expecting that this top should be merged in this polygon so let me report the polygon so here you can see that as soon as i report the polygon it's merged in the in this uh, polygon on the bottom side it's not merged so because i didn't uh, uh, report the polygon so for that what you have to do you have to go 
and then just here I mean we have to also report here the uh, polygon so once I okay I, I I have done that so you can see that as soon as I I have done that then uh, it's merged in the polygon and when I will go to the 3d mode so that's how it looks like so I think uh, uh, this presentation is much more better than the, the previous one what we have seen and on the bottom side so it, it's uh, on the bottom side uh, you can see that it's uh, it's in a uh, not in a correct way so for that what you have to do you have to again go to the bottom select this and then you have to mirror this so once you mirror this then mirror and then then you can see that uh, when you will go to the uh, 3d then that that's how it looks like in top and here in the bottom so now it's correct otherwise before this it was not mirrored so wasn't looking good wasn't correct yeah so that's how you can you can uh, define place the string on your uh, PCB layout and define the rule for that <coughs> and here for example if you have a more layer PCB then you can also for example choose here and say let's say layer 1 layer 2 and 3 like that yeah so here you can also write the name of your project say let's say my project number is uh, 1234 uh, dash series voltage regulator version 1.0 so so that's how it looks like so it, it appears really very good on the PCB that's all thank you very much and if you like my content then please subscribe to my channel bye